Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we're going to go over a few currency pairs I have on my watch list and see what potential trading opportunities we have for this coming week. Now, obviously, we're going to start with JPYX um, and see how it's going to play out in this coming week. So I sent this last week to the free Telegram group um, and, and asking you guys, What's your take on it? Like, how do you anticipate it to play out? So it was either prices were just starting this bullish descent. Um, prices were somewhere here. And I was like, now, do you think prices will actually break above here? Give us a retest and keep on pumping higher. Retrace to this structure and then pump higher, which was B. Or C, just drop, break and keep on dropping. Now, obviously, so far, we can see that A didn't play out. So you can actually just remove it, which leaves us with B and C. So we do have, now prices have started dropping. They are approaching this structure here. So to understand what's really going to happen here, obviously you have to look at the bigger time frame. So I'll be sending more of these polls in the group. So for you guys, if you really want to know how to analyze the market, um, this is how you do it and how you can actually anticipate what's going to play out here. And if you're still not in the free Telegram group, be sure to join because you're missing out on free content. It's linked in the description. So you have to start with the bigger time frame. And the reason for this is because the bigger time frames are where the big money is. That's where the money is. Okay. Now, for instance, here on JPYX, you can actually see that from the monthly perspective, there have been rejections from this structure here. Prices started off crazy bullish, but then got rejected off this structure here. So what does this mean? This means that prices are now on this bearish, bearish trend. And you can see this month, prices have already engulfed two of the previous months' candles. And we still have 18 days left. So that is just to show you how much momentum this bearish trend has. Right? So I'm going to anticipate to see prices keep on going lower on the monthly. Now we go to the lower time frames, such as the weekly. Once we hit the weekly, we can see again prices on the weekly have already broken these lows. Now, we were in a bullish trend. As you see, we had a low, we had a high, we had a higher low, higher high. Now, prices created a low and then created a lower high and now created a lower low that's lower than the most recent low. That means prices are in a downtrend. Okay, prices are in a downtrend. So prices are most likely going to keep on selling. However, you can notice that prices also closed with a doji on this previous week. Now, what does a doji indicate? A doji indicates a lack of momentum. So what does a lack of momentum do? A lack of momentum is sometimes used as a reversal candlestick, obviously. Um, so we should be anticipating some kind of a slow momentum, but we already know the direction. We know that the direction prices are going to be selling. So we move on to the daily. What do we see here? We see that prices have obviously already broken below these two lows and are now kind of ranging here, which created the doji on the weekly time frame. So now prices, the way prices move in the market, it's that it's impulsive move. Like prices never move in a straight line. We all know this. So for instance, in this bearish trend, it's either an impulsive move, retracement, and then continuation or impulsive move, correction, and then continuation. So it's either of these two things that always happen in the market for a trend to happen. It's either impulsive move, retracement, continuation, impulsive move, correction, continuation. You can see here we had an impulsive move, retracement, and then a continuation. And what's happening right now is we have a correction. So what does this mean? It means that prices are now correcting before they continue with this bearish trend. 
Okay, so I was looking for potential structures out here. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that prices are most likely going to keep on selling. So I don't believe if prices are going to um, use this or are going to pump above here and keep on going higher. I do believe prices will break below here and keep on selling because the trend is already bearish and we already have that from the higher time frames. However, we have noticed on the weekly that prices created a doji. So it's not a good, it's not going to be a clean sale. A clean sale, excuse me. Anyways, let me leave these so that we can actually still see what's going on. Now, I do anticipate to see prices play out this way. For instance, you see here prices are losing momentum. So I'm anticipating to see some kind of a pullback on these structures right here before then we see something like that. So that's my view, but that's only my take. Let me know what you think of it. I've done this because the higher time frames are actually bearish. But obviously, we are not going to take any trade until either of these are actually broken. So until either this high is broken or this low is broken, we are not going to be taking any trade. But that's what's up with JPYX. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, now, how will this be impacting the JPYX pairs? We do have CAD JPY. Now, with CAD JPY, we can actually already notice that prices are kind of bearish. You can see that prices have already broken below this trend line. We had a high, we had a low, lower high, lower low, and prices might continue selling. So with CAD JPY, it looks like prices are most likely going to be bearish should the trend continue. We can see here we had a bullish run. Obviously, this is a crazy, crazy bullish impulsive move. So this is the anchor candlestick, and you can see it already took out these highs. So I'm still bullish on the bigger time frame. I'm still bullish until at least prices reach here. But on the lower time frame, we might get some kind of a retracement. We might get some kind of a correction or some kind of a move before we actually get that bigger, bigger move. So that's what I'm anticipating to see on CAD JPY. Um, Euro JPY, okay. So I analyzed this as a bearish move. Let's take it from the weekly. We do have that doji on the market structure after that crazy impulsive move. Okay. Daily, looking like that. Again, with um, Euro JPY, anticipating to see some kind of a retracement until where the, excuse me, until where the trend began. Somewhere here. And then prices to take off and continue their bullish rally. Um. So that's my view on JPYX. Um, this is the four hour. So obviously a little bit of that bullish move. Now we do also have JDXY, the US dollar currency index. Now, if we look at this from the daily perspective, I'm anticipating it to see or to retrace until these highs here. So, I did analyze this by using uh, as concept for waves. So obviously, you know I, that I use a lot of concepts to analyze the market um, weekly. Let me remove that. So we can see here we had this first move, second move, third impulsive move, fourth move, fifth move. And then after that, we have three retracement moves before we actually get that one crazy impulsive move on the daily. So we already had these five moves. You see the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, 
So we have a one, two, three before you get that bearish continuation. Because obviously, if we look at um DXY from even the weekly. Okay, let me let me remove these. If you look at from the higher time frames, screw the weekly. This is monthly, right? We have this crazy bullish impulsive move, right? Um, but if you do look at the lows, you can see that prices already took out these lows, right? Prices already closed below these lows. So obviously, I'm anticipating to see prices keep on going lower. As we had a high, we had a low. We had a lower high. We had a low. We had a um, another lower high. And then prices finally created a lower low. So obviously, I'm anticipating to see a bearish continuation after prices retrace to at least... 0.618 of the Fibonacci, and which I'm anticipating will happen once prices retrace, give us this second move and third final retracement move, and then we start selling. Now, how will this be appearing on the currency pairs that we have? Um, we do have GU. So that will look like something like that. And then for prices to finalize this move. That's where I'll be anticipating to see prices give us that move. We have Euro USD. Prices are now on this structure. That's where we got the rejection. So I'm anticipating to see a retracement, not so deep. Uh, I believe prices will retrace until somewhere here. As you can see, it's a significant structure. Somewhere here. And then from here is where I'll be looking for continuation until somewhere here. So that's on EURUSD. Um, we got gold. Gold really doesn't really align with the dollar nowadays. So you have to analyze it on its own. So remember I told you guys, prices will keep pumping and, and then retrace all the way here. So the bullish move has already begun. As you can see, last week's candle was bullish after that move. Um, So on the four hours, let's take a look at it. Anticipating to see bullish continuations. Anticipating to see bullish continuations once prices break that. Right. So we do know, as I explained at the beginning of this video, how prices move. Now, you can see here in this, for instance, in this video, in this chart, we had an impulsive move. We had a retracement. We had an impulsive move. And now we have this correction. And what happens after a correction? Continuation. So obviously, gold is most likely going to keep on pumping. So the best place to enter for me, I'd say, is once prices already give us this crazy impulsive move out of this range, uh, retrace, and then you can actually look for entries somewhere here after the retracement to get that strong impulsive move with very small, with a lot of momentum and very small rejections as prices look to create new higher highs. Now, that's my analysis for this week, guys. The pairs that I'll be focusing on are the dollar pairs because I find they have better opportunities than the JPYX pairs. So I'll be focusing on GU, 
and EU looking for trading opportunities in them and see how the week plays out. As the week progresses, I'll be and I'll be telling you guys on what's going on, which pairs I'm looking at in the free Telegram group. That's linked in the description. If you're still not in it, you're missing out. That's on you. Already told you so. Till next time, guys. Appreciate you watching thus far. Let's have a killer week. Cheers.